I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook or Meta pixel and then add it manually to your website. In this way, you can start pulling data from users who have converted on your website, build a profile of people who are likely to convert, and then Facebook ads can start serving your ads to people who match that profile. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is open up your Facebook business suite. And with your Facebook business suite open, I want you to click on all tools, the three little lines there. Okay, with all tools open, you're gonna see in the advertise group, there's events manager. I want you to click on events manager. So make sure that you are on the right account. If you have multiple accounts, just make sure you're in the right account so you're not creating the pixel for the wrong account. All right, so we are in the right account. Now click on connect data sources. In the connect a new data source box, click on web and then click the connect button. Now you're gonna to wanna to name your pixel. Just try to incorporate a brief description of your pixel. All right, so now that you've named your pixel, click on create pixel. The check for partner integration dialog box will appear. Here, Meta's trying to recommend a third-party integration. Since our website is a WordPress website, they're recommending a WordPress integration. We're not gonna use it. We're gonna install our code manually. And that way, you're gonna be able to follow along even if you don't have a WordPress website because we're gonna skip this step. So just click Next. So now you're gonna see, choose how to connect your website. Dialog box appear. Select Metapixel and Conversion API and click Next. All right, so now the setup conversion API to connect website activity dialog box has appeared. You're going to click set up manually and click next. And now the manual implementation overview will appear. At the bottom of your screen, just click continue. So here you're gonna have a choice to select which events you wanna track. So for us, we're in the home services industry, so we're gonna track likely conversions by tracking lead form submissions and phone calls. So just click on the drop down menu and select whichever industry you're in. We're gonna select other business category. And then since we wanna track leads, we're gonna select lead. After you've selected the event you wanna track, just click continue. All right, so here you're going to select your parameters. This is going to be the information that you actually want to send to Facebook so Facebook can build that profile. So now just select the parameters that you want to send with your events and click continue. Review setup, click continue. And here we are going to manually implement the API ourselves. So click continue pixel setup and then next click install code manually. Now here I want you to copy the base code. And then you're going to go paste this code before the closing header tag in your website. If you have a developer, then have the developer add the code for you, and then you can come back and finish the remaining steps. All right, so you've gotten to your website and you've added the pixel base code right before the closing header tag. Now I just want you to click continue. All right, so here I actually just kept the automatic advanced matching toggled off, but you can go ahead and turn that on. It's just going to search your form fields and then take that data and send it to Meta to build that profile we talked about. Now we're going to get into the event setup tool. With the event setup tool, you're going to be able to set up event tracking extremely easy. You're not going to have to include any code. It's just going to take a few clicks. That's really, that's all there is. Okay, so click on the open event setup button. The setup events dialog box will appear, enter your website and click open website. So since you've just added the code, you may need to clear caches or refresh your browser. That's what we had to do in this case. But once we refreshed our browser, the events manager was able to connect to our website. So now with the website connected, there should be a drop down dialog box. I want you to click on track new button and click on the buttons that you want events to be created if they are clicked. So for us, we're going to select the submit button from our lead form. And after you have clicked the button you want to track, you're going to see a drop down menu to set up your events. Click the drop down menu and select your event. In our case, we're going to select lead and it's going to ask us to choose a value, but we are not going to choose a value because we are not an e-commerce, but you may want to select a value if you're an e-commerce and that way, like if you're tracking an add to cart button, you might want to add the value that's next to the cart as a value that you want to associate with that event. Okay. So since we are only tracking leads, we're not going to add any values and click confirm and click finish setup and then finish. So now we have created our event. Now what we want to do is we actually want to get in and we want to test our events. 
So go to events manager and again, make sure you're in the right account and select the new pixel that you just created. Click on test events and then select the browsers. All right, so now in the test browser events box, make sure your website is entered into the field and click on open website. All right, so now that you're in your website, I want you to perform the action that you are tracking as an event. And then if you go back to your pixel overview, you should be able to see how many times the event has occurred. Um, it does take some time for this to actually be reflected. So just be patient. Okay, so the final thing that we want to do is add our website to an allow list. And this means that only the websites listed in this list are going to be allowed to record conversions or record events. Um, we're only going to add our website that we are tracking the events on. And the reason I'm doing this is for some reason or another, I'm not sure how it happened, but the pixel started recording events from google.com and not my website. So I don't know why that happened, but I do know how to prevent that. And that's by adding the website to an allow list. So anyway, the way we're going to do that is we just go to settings. We're going to locate manager tracking permissions, and then we're going to add our website to the allow list. We will click confirm, and then we're going to close it down and our pixel is created and we are tracking events well if you've made it this far i assume this video has helped you in some way so don't forget to like and subscribe and check out this playlist it's full of all sorts of social media marketing tips check it out it's right there